Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Friday, July 14th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the Aussie dollar monthly, I think it's very clear we have three ways up for a W, three ways down for an X. I think it's now going to form three ways up for the wave Y, which will probably end up going up and taking out these highs. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can actually start seeing more three-way patterns. I see three waves up here for what's probably an ABC of A. I think this is three waves down for like a wave B, and I think that we're now going to make an uptrend, which is actually going to end up being a wave C of wave Y. So let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I do believe that this first move up is a 1. I think this move down is a 2. I think we're at a 1, 2, and 3 right now, which I do believe over the coming weeks will continue to make higher highs, higher lows to form that pattern like I was showing on the weekly and monthly time frame. So let's keep going down to the 4-hour time frame. So on the 4-hour time frame, I think it's very clear that this right here is an uptrend for a 1. I think there's an ABC of 2 inside here, and I think we're in a 1, 2, and big wave 3 right now. Now, we've been trending up so hard that I'm sure we are probably going to end up getting a pullback, but even if it does make a pullback, I think that's actually really good for us because that will give us opportunities to go long again at the end of the correction for the continuation of the uptrend, which I do believe we are in a big wave 3 of wave why right now on the much longer time frames so taking it down even more to the one hour time frame I'm definitely looking for pullback entries. I do see a little bit of a three-way pattern to the downside, so if it does make an impulsive engulfing move up, I would definitely take that as a long opportunity. It does seem like there's a good chance that the dollar is going to make a bigger pullback, which will probably cause this to make a pullback also, but I do believe that it is going to keep on trending up. I believe it's going to keep on making higher lows, higher lows, all part of a big wave three like I was showing on the much longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.